Hey there, it's Parker Zero Two Three One. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the faded functionality on Emergency Vehicle Creator Version Two. In this video, we're going to go over how to use the faders, the different easing styles, all the different options, and we're going to go over how to export it onto your vehicle and use it within game. Let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to be using a 2013 Ford Explorer. This vehicle was outfitted for me by my admin, um, Night Ride, or I guess his name is Miata Vibe now. What you want to do is first you want to make sure that you have your light bar set up with the ones or with the parts that you want to fade. In my case, I want to fade these two wig bags. Make sure they are set up properly so they are anchored, neon, whatever color. Um, and we'll go ahead and open up the plugin now. To do this, we'll go to plugins, we'll find the Read on Tech plugins tab, and we'll open Emergency Vehicle Creator menu. Do whatever you need to get your EVC set up. In my case, I just need to size it. And now we have EVC set up. So, next, what we want to do is we want to click on the faders button at the top, and you'll see a menu like this. So let's go over all the different um, naming conventions for this menu. So first we have our actual fader, which is this entire section. We can add another one by clicking the plus button or remove it by hitting the minus button. And then here we have our tween. Um, we can add multiple of these by hitting the plus button and we can remove one by hitting the minus button. And all the options in here are each called a tween. And then each option we can select and change settings on in order to configure our tween how we want to. So in my case, I'm gonna add two of these named WW1 and WW2. And we're going to set the colors, but first I would like to go over all the different options that are on our tweens. So first we have our colors, which can be selected from none. Um, blue, red, amber, white, green, purple, just like the rest of the plugin. I'll choose white. Then we have our transparency goal, which is the goal that we want our plugin to uh, go to from within game. So normally you actually want to set this to zero, I believe. And then you want to set your time. No, actually, sorry. We want to set this to one, my mistake. And you want to set your time to 0 0.25, or you can set it to anything you want. You can do 0 0.1, but I always recommend doing a longer time just because it makes more sense. Then we have our easing style and easing direction. This is where most people get confused because easing styles are the um, basically changes how it fades in and fades out. It changes the time scale as it goes along. So let me show you what easing styles are. When we are manipulating these options, we are actually manipulating um, these properties of a tween info because the plugin just uses tween tweens. And so what we are doing is we are actually manipulating a tween info. Now tween info has the options of easing style and easing direction. And an easing style is basically just changing how fast a tween happens. So we can see in linear, it just goes straight edge to edge. In sine, it's got that small curve and then it speeds up. Back, it goes backwards first and then speeds up. But please note, anything that goes under or above these lines, such as back or bounce, if it goes outside of the box, it won't actually show up in Emergency Vehicle Creator because you can't make a transparency more than one or less than zero. So if you do use one of those options, it won't show much of a difference. Rather, it will just start here and go really fast. Then we have our options of quad, quart, quint, bounce, which kind of bounces it. We have elastic, which again, it will just go up and then up, and then it will go up super fast because it doesn't do anything below the lines. We have our exponential, circular, and cubic. And these are all mathematical calculations that create these, and you can go look online for the actual calculations, but I'm not going to show that. And if you want to see an example of them, we can go over to the UA anim or UI animation style. I'll leave a link to all of these different pages in the description, and we can play this video, which will demonstrate all the different styles. And you can see here how linear just doesn't change speed at all. It just keeps going straight. And our sign kind of speeds up. And we've got ones that are super fast and ones that start slower. And that's basically just the difference between them all. It's just the speed at which it happens. And that's basically it for that. So, I mean, there's also one more thing, which is the easing direction. Um, easing direction doesn't have any visual examples. 
But what easing direction does is it basically changes the way that um, uh, that it goes. So if we have like easing direction in, it goes like this. But if it's out, this is actually in reverse, so it'd rather go like this. It's uh, it's hard to demonstrate without an actual picture, but we can show it within the plugin itself. And next we have our uh, repeat count, which basically is how many times this specific tween will repeat before it moves on to the next one. And then we have our delay time, which is responsible for the delay before it reverses and before it repeats. And we have a reverses checkbox, checkbox, which, as it sounds, is just reversing the tween. So if I set the easing style, let's say I set it to, um, let's just say, it, let's just set it to elastic, for example, and I'm going to set the tween to in. And a repeat count of zero, I'm going to have it reverse, so that way it goes back, and a delay time of zero. And if I play this, I'm just going to set this all real fast so that way it doesn't error. I actually don't know if this will error, I just don't want it to, so I'm just going to set this all up real fast. Okay, so what we can see is it kind of bounces weird, but that's because that's how Elastic works. We can try bounce, and it kind of does the same weird thing. So those options aren't usually ones that you'll pick. You'll probably pick stuff like Exponential, which is really good in my opinion for um, stuff like that, which is Kind of good for uh, wigwags, in my opinion. But honestly, use whatever you want. You can experiment, try all the different options, and find what works for you. I'm just going to go ahead and use, in this case, I'm just going to use a little linear one, and I'll leave that. Um, and you'll see that. Maybe I won't use linear. Let's, let's use port. Why not? And we get that. So we'll use that, and instead of going in reverse, what I will add is I'll add another one. I'll set its color to none, and I will set the same wait time. Transparency 1, the same wait time of 0 0.025. Using style of what it was, court and in. So we'll do court, in, repeat, no, delay, no. And we'll basically do the same on Wigwag 2. And what this will create is we'll get basically two animations that flash back and forth perfectly. Um, however, the plugin won't demonstrate it properly because we kind of paused while they were both in the middle. So it won't demonstrate it properly, but it can. And when we export it, we'll see it. And we'll just set all of these to be the same. And now if we play... Oh. Oops. Looks like I screwed up. I actually need to set these transparency goals to zero. And we'll get this. So there, there you have it. You can have some wigwag, wigwags like that. And we'll go ahead and export. Make sure to always save everything so I can do like a demo, video, faders, and create save. Always make sure to save everything before you export. And we'll go ahead and select our vehicle, chassis plugin, select, and we'll overwrite pattern one. And what we'll see is if we go into the stages, pattern one, we'll see it exported with all of our information. And this is also what places where we can change stuff if we want to without going back into the plugin. And we can go ahead and test it out. Well, well you know, this vehicle kind of doesn't want to let me in. And if we hit J, we'll see we have our wigwags. Now you can obviously change the timing and do whatever you need to do to make it work for you. But there we have it. And there's our wigwags. There's how to use faders on Emergency Vehicle Creator version 2. And then the next video, we'll go over how to control and use the chassis plugin itself, as well as going over exporting and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.